This video is intended as a brief introduction to the WeBots robot submitter for first-time users. I'll just cover a few basic controls to help you get oriented. As an aside, I have many years with robot simulation, but this tool is new to me, so this semester we'll be learning it together. I'm going to show you now the, uh, the sample program for the first exercise, which I've just loaded here in WeBots, and we can see a couple of different things. Uh, there's several different panes, all on the same display. Um, Right in the middle, of course, is the graphics display. It's a, it's a 3D view of some space which has the robots in it. Um, on the right is open a pane with the control program for this simple machine. Um, and then at the top above the graphics viewer is a set of uh, buttons for controlling uh, simulation. So I can simply hit the run button and the control program will start to operate the device. It'll calculate the physics and start to move. And I can pause that and then right next to it, is a, is a reset button that will bring it back to the initial state. Um, at the bottom is a pa panel which has the uh, console output. So messages and data from the control programs can show up directly in this, in this user viewable uh, console area at the bottom. In many ways, the most complicated element is on the left. Hidden behind these triangles here up in the left is the scene tree, uh, which defines all of the objects in the world and all of their properties and how they interact. Um, I'll just briefly show that this robot object uh, represent, is, represent, is the device that's in the simulator here. Um, if I briefly tunnel down into it, it's a deeply nested tree of different kinds of operators that define the physics and the graphics and the geometry and the actuation, all of the elements that go into defining the model that is this simple machine. Um, the code editor on the right currently has a Python script in it. You can see this is uh, some Python. Uh, the system supports several different languages. We're going to start with Python. Many students have experience with Python. It can also handle C, C++, Java, MATLAB. Um, the, way that, the reason that's true is that behind the scenes, when the simulator is launched, uh, WeBots will run the robot controller as a separate program and then communicate with it. That's a very flexible system that allows them to implement the control API in a lot of different languages. The 3D viewer is uh, got a couple of interesting features. Um, first of all, you can actually uh, I'm you can actually alt drag and apply forces directly. If I can catch this thing there, so I can go and pull in my model and apply forces that are then calculated into the model, and in this case, to sort of disrupt its ac actions. Um, this allows a certain amount of direct manipulation. The, um, the, the viewer has, is 3D. There's a one feature I'll point out right away, which is, is the way when you change view, it's location sensitive. If I click on this arena, so-called arena, and move, it rotates around the arena, and I can see it. If I click off in the background, um, I'm rotating around the camera. Um, I found this uh, slightly different from other CAD programs and 3D systems, and it took a little getting used to, but um, one, one mouse button is enough to... Uh, to get all the view, view changes easily, um, and then it's possible to like zoom in and out. Um, one particular thing I want to note is the kind of general workflow. Um, typically, what happens is uh, the simulations reset, some changes are made. Um, so for example, uh, I can simply take this robot and cut and paste a new copy of it, and then move the copy over a bit. Um, so there we have, now we have two machines. Um, they're both going to launch different copies of the same controller. So when I run this now, it'll run. Uh, noted that the robot fell to the floor. It's actually not attached. And I started it in midair. Um, and I didn't position these so they would collide, but they would collide if they were closer um, and get them to the point that they'll collide. Um, there, now they're colliding. So now if I pause and reset, so, uh, one of them goes away. The simulator is designed to completely reset state, including transiently created objects. Uh, after uh, um, after a run, and then at this point, the if I like that change, one one way to approach that would be uh, I could simply repeat the change and then immediately save the world from its like clean initial configuration uh, before going on to test, and then I, that would be then rendered permanently. Uh, that took uh, a little getting used to just to get the feel for how that workflow goes, but um, with that hint in mind, I think you'll uh, get into that kind of tree manipulation quickly. Um, just one last point in this very brief tour. 
when we bought some very first starts, it shows a guided tour dialogue that allows looking at all kinds of different robot models that are built in. That can be found uh, in, in the help menu. There's a WeBots guided tour as one of the entries in the help menu that will bring back back. And I encourage you to look around and see there's a lot of different models that are all kind of in demo mode to show off different robot models as well as different environments and different kinds of interaction. So just as a recap, uh, this is just a quick walkthrough of GUI features just to get you, help you get oriented. When you are, uh, if you want more detail on all of these things that are visible, um, the, the user guide has a very useful getting started section, which covers in much more depth all the, all the details of using the interface.